Good morning, salutations, and hello. My name is Larry, and this is The Ethical Atheist, and today is Halloween! Yay! I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite times of the year. There's candy, there's spooks, there's costumes. It's great. But today, I wanted to talk about a subject that inevitably comes up every Halloween, especially within the last couple of years, and that topic is cultural appropriation. Up on the screen, you'll see a couple examples of costumes in recent years that have been deemed offensive or insensitive by common culture because they are culturally appropriative, if that's the correct way to parse that. Now, no mistake here, these costumes are offensive. Turning an entire race or ethnicity or culture into a caricature for the sake of a costume that's unquestionably insensitive. But today, I wanted to talk in a broader sense about the concept of cultural appropriation. So, the definition of cultural appropriation from the Oxford English Dictionary is the unacknowledged or inappropriate adoption of the customs, practices, ideas, etc. of one people or society by members of another and typically more dominant people or society. So I, I want to acknowledge, first and foremost, out of the gate, that this is a sensitive area and a polarizing one, to an extent. Because there are people who are in the camp that cultural appropriation is always a terrible thing, and there are people in the camp that it's not so bad in certain circumstances. And I just wanted to broach the topic not from a concept of me explaining it to other people, but from a point of I don't know enough about this issue and I want to know more about it. I want to hear different perspectives on it. And I'd just like to run through a couple of things that have me confused or things that I want to know more about just so, you know, for my personal edification. So there are a couple of things that trouble me in this area and it's the especially with the people that are in purely one extreme where they're like the adoption of aspects of another culture by a more dominant culture is always an, a terrible thing and I don't think that it is I live in America I live in a very very diverse urban area in America I live in Indianapolis which is a great city a very diverse city and you see a lot of cultural diffusion, as it were, because we have all kinds of people here. We have like a lot of distinct and separate cultures all commingled in a single area. So you see a lot of stuff start to transfuse across communities because we're all next to each other. And I've never found that to be a bad thing. You know, I, I like around here we have a lot of you know cultural tradition festivals like we have the sister cities festival downtown every year where you get to go out and there's street vendors for you know all different kinds of ethnic foods and performances and art and music and then we have the international fest at the fairgrounds every year where it's the same sort of thing where you get to like walk around in a big loop and see booths from all over the world, you know, you can see the, you know, Korean, Polish, Russian, you know, anything that you could imagine, any type of culture that you would want to know more about, you can go to this fair every year and see that. And I'm gonna, uh, if I can find it, I'm gonna post links in the description below for the next one that's coming around. It's normally in the fall, I might have already missed it for this year, but if I have, I'll see if I can find a date for the one next year. So, <clears throat> At least in my experience, deliberately going out and trying aspects of other cultures is not a foreign thing to me. Like, I love going to these fairs and I love going to these events. They're a lot of fun. But I've been accused of being a cultural tourist, which was posed as a bad thing. Like, and I, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Like, I, I get it to an extent. You don't want people of a more dominant culture treating another culture like an object. But I think approaching other cultures with a genuine fascination and interest is not a bad thing. 
so that's that's one thing. Another thing is this this idea that you cannot adopt fashion choices that originated in another culture ever for any reason. And I don't really agree with that. Like, I don't agree with the idea that white people can't have dreadlocks. I have always been a person where personal autonomy is very, very important to me, and I think it's very, very important to people in general. And so to say that you can't do what you want with your own body pushes a line for me. And if anybody has a response to that, you know, if anybody wants to, you know, challenge me on that or, you know, engage in a conversation about, you know, if it's if it's deeper than I think it is, please let me know. Please, let's talk about this. But I've always felt that people should be able to do what they want with their own person. And the idea that you can't do a certain thing because it originated in a different culture rubs me the wrong way. Because I do live in America and we've had generations and generations of cultural diffusion that have led to a really diverse and interesting common culture across America. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Now, examples of cultural appropriation or misappropriation that I would agree cross a line are, you know, adopting the religious or spiritual garb of another culture f for funsies. Like, don't wear a bindi, you know, don't dress like a Hasidic Jew if you're not a Hasidic Jew. Like, don't put on religious garb belonging to a religion that you are not a part of because those things, people hold them sacred and it is insensitive to do that. I don't know if I think that it's necessarily immoral, but I think it is definitely insensitive. And like, the the white people that are 1 one twenty eighth Cherokee that put on the headdress and go to the powwow. But, so, a, a question that I have for the internet at large is, what is the quintessential difference between cultural appropriation and cultural transfusion. Because when you put two cultures next to each other, they're gonna bleed into each other over time, naturally. You know, slowly they're gonna adopt aspects of each other just because they're next to each other. And I just wanna know where that line is. Or where people think that line is. And I wanna make it very, very clear that just because I don't have a complete understanding of everything that goes into this issue doesn't mean that I don't think it's important. I think it's really important and critical, especially here in America where we have a history of dealing with race relations and cultural relations really, really badly. And I think that under trying to understand this issue would go a long way towards helping with that. And one of the reasons that this topic is hard for me personally is that I it's just not something that I've ever had to worry about like there's not one aspect of what I would consider my own culture that I would be bothered if somebody else borrowed you know like there's nothing about my personal identity and my personal culture that I hold so sacred that it would bother me if I saw other people using it. Like, I'm not religious, I don't, I'm not a nationalist, I'm actually pretty anti-nationalist because I think that nationalism creates more problems than it solves. And I'll do a separate thing about that at some other time because that's a really heavy and thick topic to go through. But... When I try to decide whether I think a thing is ethical or not, I usually apply, you know, the standard of empathy. How would I feel if this thing were done to me? And in this particular case, I just don't know. I have no idea how I would react. I don't think I would be bothered. But I think in this particular case, 
that's not a good standard to apply because I acknowledge in my personal background I don't have anything that I hold sacred. There isn't an aspect of my personal culture that is super important to me. So I don't think that I can effectively empathize with people that do have strong cultural backgrounds and pride and heritage. But that's about the sum of uh, my thoughts. I definitely want to become better educated on this issue, so give me your responses, let me know what you think, you know, any additional information, especially articles or websites or anything that I can use to get better acquainted with this topic. Because I want to know. I genuinely want to know. I don't want to make an asshole out of myself by doing something insensitive because I didn't realize it was insensitive. So please, any and all comments and conversations, let's have it. Let's do it. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may Darwin be with you.